like many Australians, I knew a little bit about Kokoda. I knew, you know, there'd been a battle up there and I'd heard about the Fuzzy Fuzzy Angels. But that was about it. I heard this incredible story about these amazing young men that, uh, that just stopped the world up there. The significance that that campaign has on our country is quite profound. We pretty well thought, well, okay, let's, let's run this program that teaches them about the values that our diggers displayed, the endurance, the courage, the mateship and the sacrifices. So six months of training, um, do all this physical stuff out there every weekend, learning about themselves, learning about other people. I've never worked in a team, um, but I actually enjoyed a lot more than working by myself. We started running, like, I think I ran the furthest I'd ever run in my whole life. <laughs> It's affected me in a huge way, just getting out of the rut that I was in. You talk to some of the people from the years before and they say how it's life changing. You sort of think, well, how can it be life changing? But once you join the program you find out that's exactly what it does, it changes your life. <laughs> At the end of that six months we had this goal of going to New Guinea and walking the actual Kokoda track. So that had to be paid for. Uh, fortunately for us we, we came up with um, with this little event that's uh, become a huge event called the Kokoda Challenge. It wasn't what I expected. <laughs> a lot harder. Like, yeah, a lot harder. <laughs> but it's the most rewarding thing I've ever done. Being with people changes you. Like having them go through what you're going through. It's going to push me to my limit. It's going to show me how far I can go. I found out a lot about myself and my teammates. Having everybody tell me I can do it, that's what got me through it. Even though I was telling myself I couldn't. <laughs> it will show me that I can never give up and that I can always persevere to do something if I want to. It was hard, it was, it was tough, it was really hard. We would be at the start and then some of us would be at the finish. We would put the dog tags on the people. And I was so impressed with what that is doing for the young people. It's what I signed up for, the track. And like, I know it'll be hard, especially when it's like cold and wet or extremely hot. Like, I know it'll be hard, but I really want to do it. It has blown my imagination. It's not what I expected at all. Like I have grown in so many areas, mental, physically, in so many ways. Like my mind is so much more broadened now, and I see the world so much differently. A lot of people have gone through some massive growth while walking the track, and I think I have too. There's so much that you can learn from it and take from it that you know that you'll have with you for the rest of your life. Most of us are too tired to even contemplate how awesome that is, but it's, it's very, it's huge. It is seriously life changing and you learn so much for being out here. It's showed me that I can do anything. I've seen so many of my teammates change in such a great way. Now that I've walked the Kokoda track, it's given me a bit of confidence in myself as a person. Whenever I come across something tough, I'll think, can't be half as painful as what I've just done. But um, it's just amazing. I never thought I could do such a thing. When I was first asked, I said I didn't want to go back into that hellhole. We didn't get much rations. We were pretty weak. We were poorly equipped. It wasn't so good when we got a couple of days walk, then we had another three or four days to go. I think it'll stand by them well for the future. And it only proves to me the way they've done this job. The kids of today are put to the pressure like we were, they do just the damn same. A lot of people don't think they can. I think by that effort they can. And I hope they're never called on to do it.